told that lakes, some lakes are being outsourced to corporates in Bangalore. If that be true, do you see an opportunity, a small window nonetheless, to start reversing the process that you have been so uh, well studying? Do you see that as a window? Isn't that a way in which somewhere we get a little break? It's the corporates that drive the government. It's corporates that drives the policy at the back end. That's let's be real. seem to be driving India too. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and uh, I mean, like in the US, it's a revolving door, right? I mean, to the White House and the corporates. Um, so I don't um, agree uh, with the corporates um, being involved directly in the lake restoration. Mm. Um, I don't agree for several reasons. One is. Um, they are coming with a very closed mindset because there is this percentage of their profit that needs to be corporate social responsibility and they want to put it out there. And second thing is they there is currently a lot of group of people who are using this corporate social responsibility funds and doing unscientific lake rejuvenation. And thirdly, many of the lake rejuvenation that's happening in the industrial areas, especially in Anikal, I won't take the name, but I know everybody would probably be able to connect it were in the area, is that they are spending a meager amount of money rejuvenating lakes and generating goodwill while polluting the environment, which would stay for generations to come. And that saves a lot of, lot of um, uh, money for that particular pharmaceutical industry. So this is all perverse things that's happening um, when the corporations come in to the, the lake restorations that we are witnessing firsthand. So, but what's, there is a high court order that such um, corporate funded, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the model of maintaining a lake is something that the lake, uh, the high court has stopped. Um, so that has put the community driven lake protection and restoration activities to a halt as well, because uh, sometimes it's directly the corporate, sometimes the corporate is funding the communities and communities do need funds to, to, to maintain the lake. So there is a question of how do we find the right balance, which is the discussion that has been currently going on. Right. So, and you know, it's such a complex word. There is no perfect solution for anything. One solution for a problem causes a problem for another pro <laughs> um, issue. So it always has a cascading effect. Um, I don't know if that answered um, Gopalji, the question that you were asking. I think, I think the ambition of a corporate is that it is in the net zero business. Huh. Net zero business is because they know what comes into their factory and what goes out of it. So mm -hmm. I think if we can change that perception when it comes to handling uh, lakes and streams, I think that's a big difference they have. To, otherwise, they're having a blinkered view. And that is muddling the whole damn thing is by view. Yeah, yeah, yeah.